Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Okay, let's jump right into it. Um, I have some time before uh, my next voiceover session and I just finished some dinner, so I thought I would capitalize on this opportunity to get ahead of the game because I know, and it's already begun because I can see some uh, notifications already. Um, I, you know, I knew that as soon as I read this, people are gonna wanna know my thoughts and they're probably going to start losing their fucking shit because I could already see some people commenting going, what the fuck, oh that's fucking shit, this is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And of course, I'm talking about the news that dropped today, if you could even fucking call it news, okay? Um, with this interview with uh, Danny McBride uh, that he did with Yahoo, some of the other news outlets picked it up, like Bloody Disgusting and iHor and yada, yada, yada. And um, it was first brought to my attention from a buddy of mine who sent me the Bloody Disgusting link, and I looked at it, and of course, this is what the headline says. The headline says this, Danny McBride explains more Halloween plot details as if first Halloween ended in different way. And I read that and I thought, oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, mm, weird. Let me read the article. Now look, there really is no new information here. There's nothing new in this article at all that we don't already know, except for one little line and a bit of, you know, anecdotal shit about how, you know, we're Halloween fans too. And, you know, we don't want them to be mad at us. And, you know, we really hope, you know, we don't fuck up, but that, well, yeah, of course. I mean, what, you know, did we, were we actually thinking that, you know, they were hoping that they fucked up? I mean, that's just fodder. Okay. That's nothing. But here's what people are drawing, you know, drawing my attention to. Um, and now this is not new. We're kind of ignoring all the films past the first one. Uh, it picks up after the first one, but it's sort of an alternate reality. That's what McBride said. Well, that's nothing new because Carpenter said that a month ago. So who fucking cares about that? But then this sentence right here is what, you know, has everybody losing their fucking shit and thinking it means this when it probably means this. Okay. And this is the sentence. It's very short. It's as if the first Halloween ended in a slightly different way. And I'm reading that and I go, okay. Now that doesn't tell me that they're going to retcon everything that happened at the end of John Carpenter's 1978 classic, but that's what everybody is thinking. They're thinking that what McBride means there is that they're going to retcon how the original Halloween ended. That doesn't say that at all. Now I'm not saying that's not what they're going to do. I'm not saying that's not what they're going to do, but I highly doubt that's what they're going to do. I think the probability is so fucking high through the fucking roof that they're not going to do that. What it probably means is that at the beginning of this new Halloween film, okay, they're going to have a flashback to 1978, to that night, okay? To, you know, sort of get everybody on the same page again, establish where they are in the timeline, you know, kind of get everybody back on the same page, right? Um, and what we're probably going to see is how the original Halloween ended. So we're probably going to see, you know, Dr. Loomis come up the stairs, shoot Michael Myers six times, fall off the balcony. Was that the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was, you know, and he goes over and he looks over and he's gone. We're probably going to see all of that. And that's probably going to stay the exact same. Okay. But then what they might do if they're not already shooting it right now is have shot additional footage to sort of extend that ending a bit. So maybe, you know, we see him look over, he's gone. That's where it ends right now, right? That's where John Carpenter's classic ends right now. But maybe at the beginning of this new film, we see a bit more information. You know, we start to see maybe, um, you know, uh, we see Michael crawling into the alleyway, right? And maybe we see like, you know, the cops show up, woo, you know, and you're 20, 20, 20, 20, he's over there, where is, what's going on? I shot him six times. You know, like we kind of hear that in the background, right? And um, maybe there's, there's something they shoot. I don't know what it is. I don't know you know, what they're going to show. And I'm not even saying that what I'm saying right now is what they're doing. I'm just saying that this is how I read it, okay? That maybe there's something they've shot to help extend that just a little bit, okay? Which will help set up their new story. Maybe it'll help justify a few of the questions we have, right? Maybe it will, I don't know. So then if you sit back and you think about it, you go, hmm, it's a matter of semantics, but then you kind of go, well, for all intents and purposes, it did end in a different way. They're just showing the extension of that ending at the beginning of this new Halloween film.
Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I think they're going to do. I do not think that they're going to retcon how the original Halloween ended. That's not what I'm reading into this. You know, so instead of Michael being shot six times off the balcony, they have a bunch of ballerinas come in, dance around him, you know, and do like, you know, a lap dance on his lap and then punch him in the face. And then Lori, you know, stands up, flashes him, gets a metal pipe, you know, puts, I mean, they're, they're not going to, you know, completely retcon how the film ends ended because the movie is already out there in the pop culture consciousness. You can buy it on Blu-ray, you can buy it on DVD, you can, you know, all this stuff, right? So you would think, well, they would have to go back and sort of retcon that ending of all the releases that you can get. They would have to George Lucas its ass is what they'd have to do, right? I don't think that's what they're going to do. I think what this is, the probability is, is that we're going to see a flashback sequence at the beginning of this new Halloween to get every, you know, to get everybody on the same page. They might even show the exact, you know, exact footage from John Carpenter's Halloween, not reshoot that. I don't mean reshoot it. They'll just fucking use it because they have the rights to do it anyway. So the, so they'll just show the ending of John Carpenter's Halloween and they'll, maybe they'll shoot a few extra pieces of footage to extend it. You know, so we, so we see him shoot him, right? He falls off the balcony. He's lying there. Dr. Loomis, you know, goes over and looks, he's gone. He looks up like this. You see Lori going <laughs> like this. And then it cuts and maybe we're on the outside of the house now, right? And we see the shape, you know, walking away or we see, you know, the cops pull up or, or we see something. There's a bit of additional information. Well, okay. So hypothetically, if you were to tag that on to the ending of Halloween, it does end in a slightly different way, right? It's semantics. I don't think McBride said what we're going to do is retcon everything from when Michael sits up and does the turn and we're going to have this completely new ending. I don't think that's what they're going to do. Now, if they are going to do that, this is what I have to say to Danny McBride, John Carpenter, David Gordon Green, and Jason Blum. Are you fucking insane? Are you a fucking idiot? You don't need to do that. And if you feel you need to do that, if you actually feel that that's what you have to do to justify your story going forward, then that just pretty much proves my point that you shouldn't be making this film in the first place. John Carpenter's classic from 1978 ends perfectly. And I like the ambiguous ending. I like the mysterious ending. I like not knowing what happened. Now look, as many of you know, I do like Halloween 2. And you know, as I've mentioned many times in the past, 1981's Halloween 2 feels complete. It feels authentic. It feels genuine because of the genius of it having pick up immediately where number one left off. So it feels like it's supposed to be there. When you watch Halloween 1, you know, instinctually you feel like you need to watch Halloween 2, right? It's like one movie with two separate parts. Even though I don't like the reveal of the motive, I'm not emotionally attached to the brother-sister angle, I don't think you needed to do that, I'm totally on board with that. I like keeping Michael Myers, you know, the absence of character, the absence of motive and all that kind of stuff. But Halloween 2, it worked. It did work, right? And a lot of people really like it. But if you feel that you need to retcon, you know, and totally, you know, special edition George Lucas, the ending of Halloween, well, that just proves, you know, everybody's point that you shouldn't even be touching this. And that's why I don't think that's what McBride meant or even means at all. I don't know if every outlet that carried the story went with this exact headline, but the headline that Bloody Disgusting is going with is very misleading because it gives you the impression that, you know, Danny McBride is basically saying that there's going to be a completely different ending to the original Halloween. And that's not what he's saying. When you read the sentence and you take it at face value, that's actually not what he's saying at all. Could they actually still do that? Well, I, I guess they could, but if you want my professional opinion, my diagnosis is, that's not what he's talking about. Anyway, if you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. McRae is M-C-R-A-E. Facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. Feel free to like and follow me there. And uh, if you don't want to follow or like me there, then uh, fine, whatever. I don't give a fucking shit. I'm kidding, relax. Some people take that really seriously. Like, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Fucking calm down, okay? Um, yeah, so <laughs> everybody just needs to calm down. I, I think it's more than likely what I said. I think that's what he meant. So everybody just needs to calm down. Anyways, folks, in the meantime and in between time, I will talk to you guys soon. Cheers.